turn around and point to the car. Uh, three, five or six steps from the car and we've found a, a baby coral snake. And it's gone. <laughs> oh, it's there. It's oh, there it is. Um, That's awesome. Yeah. It's not even 10 meters. Look at the car, look at that. There are the cars. <laughs> and so pretty yellow. Yeah, beautiful. There's yeah. the snake. There. So that's a, what is it? It's a sorter's coral snake. Hey, buddy. That is pretty cool. Although highly venomous, they're quite rare, have a mild disposition and very small mouths. The bites almost never occur. There's a good sense of scale there. 10 NT. They have quite a beautiful shine and iridescence. Off it goes. Anyway, it'll disappear under the leaves somewhere. So we've come up into the mountains in Pingdong and we're going to walk up this road and see what snakes we can find. So it looks like they've got something up here. What do we got there? Mine. Up there, so let's go have a closer look. Prius Kamai. One of three species of slug and snail-eating snake in Taiwan. These are found all throughout the lower two-thirds of Taiwan. This is a really tiny one. As you can see, next to my finger, how tiny it is. These big millipedes. Really cool the way they move. Mm. So one of the things I really wanted to find up here was the sorter's grass lizard. The bright green grass lizard, and there it is. But, if we zoom out, it's way up the top of that tree, so that's as close a look as we're going to get. King rat snake in there. It was poking its head out of the out of the hole. He's gone right in there and coiled up. Yeah, we might see it on the way back. Green tree viper up in the ferns. That is massive. That is by far the longest cat snake I have ever seen. Get that. up there, Damien. Yeah. <laughs> no, not much. Yeah, Bunny comes on a lot of night hikes with me, but hasn't really been featured in any videos yet, so. <laughs> She's got a Kamai slug snake, Piraeus Kamai. So we've got a big bamboo oh, yeah. viper or green tree viper. Sitting up on a hole in that tree there. And another green tree viper. A red bamboo snake here. It's a nice dark one, nice deep, deep red. So you can see this one at some point in the past has suffered an injury. Perhaps um, a serpent eagle. Snakes are not the top of the food chain. There are plenty of animals that like to gobble up the danger noodle. Serpent eagles to the beautiful Taiwan blue magpies, mongoose, weasels, and even spiders if the snake is small enough. Just disappearing into the leaf litter. Cool, man. Gone. We've just found a uh, Ali Shan Habu. This is super exciting. So we've got an Alishan Habu here, Alishan Guaykahua. Really unexpected find. Pretty awesome. It's very unexpected to see one in the middle of summer. These snakes tend to be seen in cooler, damper weather. So this is a real treat. Look at the spots on its tail. Snakes often use their tails as decoys or even to attract prey. These are venomous pit vipers, but little is known of their venom. There have been very few recorded deaths. Their typical high mountain habitat and tendency to spend much of their time living under rocks and leaves means they seldom have close interactions with humans. 
Where are its eyes? Can you see them? They have these impressive iridescent white patterns across the front and side of the face, almost hypnotic. And the eyes are hidden somewhere amongst that. There. What a beauty. Anyway, we'll leave it and carry on. At the ridge top, there were several people tracking up. And some of them were pretty cool. We lost our friends. Um, We've gone the wrong way, I guess. Um, maybe they walked down the trail, so we're going to have to head back. But um, on the way back down, we came across this beautiful little odd scaled snake. So these snakes have a really beautiful iridescence. Okay, it's a car coming. It looks like it's injured. Yeah, it's got an injury on its face. Uh, what a shame. So we went too far up the road. And our friends are waiting for us further down. So we're having to run back down to find them. Whew. Sorry about the shaky footage. Millipede love. So here we've got a collared reed snake. Quite a light one, this one. These snakes generally live under rocks, logs, and leaf litter. So although fairly common, they're seldom seen. Yeah, so th these are quite iridescent as well. There he goes, got a nice little crack under the rock there. And he'll just make his way in there. And off he goes, gone. Let's keep going, gone ourselves. So that was a really productive walk. Found some really cool species. It's pretty late now, so. Cheers. Uh, of course, thanks for watching and see you next time.